Hello children. Welcome to our numerous lesson today. This lesson was produced by Rwanda Education Board with support from UNICEF. My name is Teacher John. This lesson is basically for primary three to primary four classes. But for purposes of revision and support, our brothers and sisters from primary five and primary six are welcome. Dear parents, once again, you are warmly welcome to this lesson. Thank you for always supporting our children to learn. Dear children, I hope you already have a notebook and a pen with you. Do you have them? For those who don't, you have a few seconds to pick them. Now, let us have a quick review of the previous lesson. Dear friends, what did we learn in our previous lesson? Very good. We learned about how to form or complete a sequence by subtraction. How to form or complete a sequence by subtraction. Dear children, which rule of sequence did we use? The rule we used was a number minus one. The rule we used was a number minus one. And with our homework, the rule was a number minus two. Children, how did you find the homework? Very good. Let us check the answers for our homework. The sequence you got by the rule a number minus 2 starting with 20 is 20, 18, 16, 14, 12. 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, 0. I repeat, the sequence you got by the rule a number minus 2 starting with 20 is 20, 18, 16, 14, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, 0. Dear children, thank you very much for trying. It is always good to try out. As usual, friends, let us listen to this message. Need to quit you at Bruce Melody. Yeah, yeah, Murahone is a Mahora Mahoro. The Bruce Melody in Konanim as a Quivuga, Hanima, you must have a few to move the Zebucha. Niba, whatever you know, who fit to me, it's a big way of coronavirus. Changwa se Ukawiziko, Haruzi, a fit to me, it's so. Ukidia Kumanesha in Zebuzu is a great day. Changwa Hamagara, Kurini Mero, Dimme, Dimme Kane, Kujango Habge, Utavas. Utuma Rabareva, Mugume Murgo, Mogin Hochi, Amagara Sesekanayo. Welcome back, dear children. In today's lesson, we will learn about something very interesting. We will learn about a new word, digit. We will also practice counting in ones, tens, and hundreds. We will also practice counting in ones, tens, and hundreds. Let us start with the word digit. Children, repeat after me. Digit. 
Very good. Again, digit. Wow, wonderful. Dear friends, do you know what the word digit means? Can you tell what the word digit means? Very good, children. Digits are the ten symbols from zero to nine that we use to write numerals. Digits are the ten symbols from zero to nine that we use to write numerals. Can you list those symbols, friends? Wow! Well done, dear pupils. The digits are the symbols of zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Well done, children. I repeat, the digits are the symbols of zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well done, children. Now, let's take an example of a number 10. How many digits does it have, children? Let us take an example of a number 10. How many digits does it have, children? 10 has two digits. The number 10 has two digits. Those are the symbols of one and the symbol of zero. Those are the symbols of one and zero. Now, children, can you write in your notebook the digits that make the number 19? Can you write in your notebook the digits that make the number 19? Dear parents, can you check to see whether our children are doing the right thing? Thank you for supporting us. Very good. The digits of the number 19 are 1 and 9. The digits of the number 19 are 1 and 9. Come along and play Rover. Welcome back, children. Before the break, we talked about a digit. Now, friends, we are going to practice counting in ones, tens, and hundreds using a chant. We are going to practice counting in ones, tens, and hundreds using a chant. You and I will count in turns. You and I will count in turns. Dear children, are you ready for the chant? Let us go. Let us count the numbers. Let us count the numbers. My turn counting ones. One, two, three, four, and so on. Let us count the numbers. Let us count the numbers. My turn. Counting ones. 
One, two, three, four, and so on. Let us count the numbers. Let us count the numbers. Your turn counting ones. Mm. 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 And so on. Let us count the numbers. Let us count the numbers. My turn counting tens. Ten. Twenty. Thirty. Forty. And so on. Let us count the numbers. Let us count the numbers. Your turn counting tens. Mm. 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 And so on. Let us count the numbers. Let us count the numbers. Let us count the numbers. My turn counting hundreds. A hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, and so on. Let us count the numbers. Let us count the numbers. My turn counting hundreds. A hundred, two hundred, three hundred. 400. Let us count the numbers. Let us count the numbers. Your turn counting hundreds. Mm. 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 And so on. Wow! That was wonderful, dear children. Now, children. Can you try out this on your own? Can you count in tens from 10 to 50? I want you to try this on your own. Count in tens from 10 to 50. Count in tens from 10 to 50. Dear parents, try to check whether our children are counting the right way. Thank you for supporting us. Well done. Counting in tens from 10 to 50, we count 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I repeat. Counting in tens from 10 to 50, we count 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Wow! Dear children, can we also count on our own in hundreds from 100 to 500. Can we now count in hundreds on our own from 100 to 500? Well done. In hundreds, we count a hundred. 200, 300, 400, 500. Wow, that was wonderful. Come along and play with us. Welcome back, children. Now, can you try out this short exercise? Can you try out this short exercise? One, tell the digits that make up a number 23. Can you tell the digits that make a number 
23. 2. Can you tell the digits that make a number 124? Can you tell the digits that make a number 124? Dear children, you have few seconds to do that. Dear parents, can you check and see whether our children are doing the right thing? Thank you for your support always. Well done. Before we end our lesson, dear children, let us review what we have learned today. We learned what a digit is. It's any of the symbols used to make the numerals from 0 to 9. Any of the symbols used to make the numerals from 0 to 9. We also practiced counting by ones, by tens, and by hundreds. We also practiced counting by ones, by tens, and by hundreds. Dear children, for your homework, I want you to practice counting by ones, by tens, and by hundreds as high as you can go. You will tell your parents how far you can go in counting in tens, in ones, and in hundreds. I hope your homework will be a good practice to prepare you for the next lesson. That is it for today. Thank you for participating. Dear parents, we appreciate your support. Stay home safely and remember to join us for our next numeracy lesson. Bye-bye. Goodbye, 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 teacher. Goodbye, children. See 